Hello. In this video, we will be discussing how to handle initial cash outlays and sign conventions in net present value problems. To do so, we first need to understand the different types of costs and cash flow streams we might encounter. By the end of this video, you will learn the different types of cash outlays and how to evaluate cash outlays and inflows in investment project decisions. Incremental cash flows are the additional cash flows realized as a result of the project. Only incremental cash flows are relevant to a capital investment decision, which includes opportunity costs. For example, suppose the shoe line of a fashion company generates $50,000. If the company adds a new socks line, which would increase the shoe line sales by 10%, or $5,000, the 10% increase in shoe sales would be considered in deciding whether to accept or reject the project. An example of a cash flow that would not be considered an incremental is an inflow or outflow that would be incurred regardless of whether or not we take on an investment project. These non-incremental cash flows are not relevant to deciding whether or not we take on the investment project because, well, they would happen anyway. Let's revisit your sister who was still experiencing her quarter-life crisis. A cash flow that is incremental to her decision to go straight to university is a tuition she must pay if and only if she decides to go straight to university. Expenses such as food or housing are not relevant to her decision, because whether she decides to go straight to university or instead take a gap year to work, these are expenses that will be incurred anyway. Conventional cash flow stream. This type of cash flow stream consists of an initial cash outflow followed by a series of inflows. For example, a company may invest $30,000 into a project initially, but receives $20,000 a year for four years one year after the initial investment. You may also notice here sign conventions. We can identify a cash flow or a cost in two ways. There will be a negative sign in front of the number or the number will be in parentheses. We can identify cash inflows by either a positive sign or no sign in front of the cash flow. It is crucial to not be sloppy with the cash flow signs. Not only do you want your work to be clear for professors or peers, but you also want to stay organized for yourself. As you will see in later videos, that capital budgeting problems can quickly become complex. Unconventional cash flow stream. An unconventional cash flow stream can involve cash inflows mixed in with cash outflows throughout the life of the project. Let us use the same example as above, but add one change. In year three, we need to make a capital expenditure of $25,000 for the project. Thus, our cash flow for year 3 will be the $20,000 cash inflow minus the $25,000 cash outflow. This gives us a net outflow of $5,000. Now that we know the different types of costs and cash flows, we can use our newfound knowledge to help us determine what course of action a company should take. Suppose you have a piece of equipment sitting unused in a corner of a factory. An employee comes up with a proposal that suggests if $60,000 is invested in the machine today, it can be used for the next four years, generating profits of $60,000 each year. The machine's salvage value at the end of the four years is $0. The machine initially costs $300,000. The machine today can be sold for $110,000. There are installation costs of $20,000 and training costs to use the machine of $15,000. The rent paid for the factory is $100,000 a year. The discount rate for this investment project is 8%. What costs are not factored into the decision-making process? The initial cost of $300,000 is not factored into the decision-making process as it is a sunk cost. The $300,000 has already been paid, cannot be recovered, and has no impact on how much money the equipment can generate in the future for the company. As well, the $100,000 per year rent on the factory is not relevant, as it is not incremental to this decision regarding the equipment. Whether we choose to sell the equipment or invest in it, the company will still continue to pay rent. Thus, we do not need to worry about the company's rent going forward. What is the cost to the firm today if the project is accepted? The cost of the project, if accepted, would be $95,000. Does the project add value to the firm? Yes, this project would add value to the firm. Considering the cash flows of the project, the cost of the project, there is a positive net present value. So, should the firm accept the project? No, the firm should not accept the project as we need to consider the opportunity cost. When evaluating an investment, 
the firm must consider the value of the best alternative. The value of selling the machine now is higher than the value we will gain from accepting the project by $6,272. Thus, the firm should sell the machine now. In other words, if the firm chooses to invest in the machine rather than selling the machine now, they would be worse off in today's dollars by $6,272. Now, you have understood different types of cash outlays and how to evaluate cash outlays and inflows in an investment project decision. However, it is important to remember that many types of initial cash outlays have a certain level of uncertainty and are typically underestimated. Thank you for joining us this time and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.